plea for social distancing from Greenville's mayor and local health officials as the number of COVID-19 cases continue to rise. 7 News' Jennifer Martin is live at the Greenville Convention Center to tell us more about what's being considered. Good morning, Jennifer. Hi, good morning, Sabila. So those local health officials and community leaders in Greenville will be holding a press conference here at the Greenville Convention Center at 1 o'clock this afternoon. They'll be joining Mayor Knox White along with several doctors from Bon Secours St. Francis Health, Prisma Health, and South Carolina DHEC. They'll be urging people to continue to practice social distancing and to wear masks. They're also asking them to wash their hands and take advantage of free testing sites if you have any symptoms. They'll be giving more information about that. They'll also talk about a concern for those who have attended large gatherings or protests in the past couple of weeks. The Hispanic Alliance is also set to join today's event. This comes as the latest data from state officials shows over a third of new cases in Greenville have self-reported as Hispanic. That's about 30 percent, yet Hispanics only make up about 9 percent of Greenville's population. These local calls for action join those from Governor Henry McMaster and state epidemiologist Dr. Linda Bell as cases continue to rise across South Carolina. And yesterday, Dr. Bell said she's more concerned about COVID-19 in South Carolina than ever before. There are uh, lots of activities going on now. There are not only the protests, but there are um, behaviors in lots of communities where, where people do not appear to be uh, paying attention to, in all sorts of gatherings, paying attention to uh, social distancing. Governor Henry McMaster said he does not plan to close any more businesses or make masks mandatory, but again, urging people to wear masks and stay socially distant. Live in Greenville, Jennifer Martin, 7 News. All right, Jennifer, thanks so much. Julie? Governor McMaster is looking to the General Assembly to approve more than a billion dollars to replenish state agencies affected by the pandemic. However, he says no intention of closing businesses again to slow the spread of the virus. McMaster says he'll continue to monitor the number of cases to help determine when venues like bowling alleys and movie theaters will be able to reopen.